It is no secret that 2020 was a difficult year for the global automotive industry. Sales fell to almost zero as national lockdowns forced dealerships to close and factories to turn their attention to producing sanitizer, PPE and ventilators. The automotive year kicked off with the 11th hour cancellation of the Geneva International Motor Show, and while the second half of 2020 began to resemble normality as far car makers were concerned, many will need a strong 2021 and 2022 to help balance the books. Thankfully, car fans have an awful lot to look forward to over the next 12 months. From pocket rockets like the Toyota Yaris GR and mass-market electric cars like the Ford Mustang Mach-E, to era-defining hypercars like the Aston Martin Valkyrie, and the joys of a booming resto-mod industry. Everyone's expectations for the cars of 2021 will of course differ. So while this will inherently be a personal list of what I'm most looking forward to, I hope some will be shared by readers, and you can always add your own suggestions in the comments below. For me, a trifecta of hypercars will grab much of the limelight. All have been delayed a little, by their own complicated births but also by the coronavirus pandemic. First is the Aston Martin Valkyrie, the hypercar that is already heralded by many as an era-defining moment to match the McLaren F1 of 1994. The Valkyrie is what happens when Formula One design supremo Adrian Newey is let loose without the strict rules of motorsport to adhere to. From the extreme design creating huge downforce, to the F1 style, feet at waist height driving position, a screaming, normally aspirated V12 engine by Cosworth, and claims of being equal on track to Le Mans prototype racers, the Valkyrie has a lot to live up to, not least given the precarious financial position Aston found itself in through much of 2020. But before the Valkyrie squares up to bona fide racers, it will have to battle with its closest rival for 2021, the Mercedes AMG One. Announced way back in 2017 and with delivery schedules for just 18 months later, the One's party piece is its F1-derived engine. Sitting behind the driver is a close relation to the 1.6-liter, V6 turbo that gave Lewis Hamilton his 2015 F1 World Championship, and it will be attached to four electric motors for good measure. For much of 2020 even much of 2019 it felt like Mercedes had bitten off more than it could chew with the task of making an F1 engine street legal. But patience as a virtue and we'll get to see the final product at some point in 2021. The gas-powered Aston and Mercedes will be joined in 2021 by the electric Lotus Evija. Delayed through 2020 but gearing up for production and delivery to 130 lucky customers in 2021, the Evija produces 2,000 horsepower, double that of the Mercedes One, and will surge to 186 miles per hour, 300 kilometers per hour, in under nine seconds.